Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to change the default length or duration of a still image when you drop it into your timeline in DaVinci Resolve. So as you saw, I dropped in this JPEG image into my timeline, and if I go to the beginning and then the end, you can see that it is a five second clip. Now, if you know exactly how long you want your image to be when you drop it into your timeline, it's very easy to change that default setting. Just go to the top left, click on DaVinci Resolve, go down to Preferences, go to User, then down to Editing, and then here you'll see General Settings. And now you can actually change the default duration for various options. Generator, Transition, but we're gonna go to Standard Still Duration. Now you can choose in seconds or by frames. Now the frames option is perfect if you're doing a time lapse and you need to import a bunch of photos to create a motion time lapse. You would choose one frame. So when you drop in all your photos, you would have a smooth time lapse. Now I'm actually gonna change it to 20 seconds because I'm actually gonna be using this to put in my end screen image for my YouTube videos. So 20 seconds, press save. Now I'm gonna delete this off of my timeline. Go ahead and drag that same image and now you can see it's obviously larger. If we go to the beginning, look at the timestamp. If I go to the end, it is 20 seconds. Now I choose 20 seconds for my end screen because you could put up to 20 seconds on YouTube and then I put my end screen elements here on the corners. Now again, depending on whatever project you're working on and how often you use a certain amount of time, making that change will make your workflow a lot faster. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.